Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's late. It's Friday night and we got a game plan. I kind of procrastinated and forgot about a local mud bog. So we're gonna prepare Goldie tonight. It's about 10.30. We're gonna do some things to Goldie to uh, maybe get a little bit of results for tomorrow. We're gonna do the general maintenance stuff, you know, check, check the oil, make sure the headlights work. Do the headlights work, Bubba? Yeah. <laughs> but our primary focus tonight, we're gonna burn the midnight oil and we're gonna do some tire cutting because those tires are clapped out. Well, there's one tread of 1,000, so I better get at it, because we got a mud bog to hit tomorrow. Well, we got the Goldie ready to go. Cut the tires. We're gonna do a little rip here, see if, you know, see if it's doable. We're gonna do a little rip here just for funsies. Check out this shirt though, 1990. That's how long I've been going to these mud bogs. So I haven't raced in, since 2008. And back then we were racing a race truck. It was a 500 horse blazer on cut 38 boggers. So driving a 93 stock Grand Cherokee. It's gonna be a little bit different, but that's not gonna stop us from having a little bit of fun. All right, off to the mud bog. Stayed up later last night and cut my tires like that guy. Well, we made it to the mud bog. There's not too many rigs here. This is kind of a dying sport here in southern Minnesota, but we're here. I think there's a couple rigs in our first class. We might be even be racing with side by sides because we got you know the big whopping inline six in here. So the first class is an A class. We'll be in that one, and then we're gonna be in a trail stock class, which, you know, we kind of roll in that class. We'll get uh, lined up and we'll get ready to put Goldie in this mud bog and show you guys some other pretty cool rigs here too. Before the mud bog can start, there is a tractor pull going on, so we'll have to wait for the tractor pull before we can get in the mud.
Chris McMahon. First run didn't go as planned, or did it? I kind of expected a bad result. That pit is deep. I think we got went like five feet or something like that. And yes, I'm sitting in the back seat of the Cherokee because, and YouTube doesn't like music that isn't copyrighted on YouTube. So that's why we're sitting in the back seat. We got one more class to go. Um, you guys are gonna see B class, C class run, and then D class, which is us which is a trail class. And we get playing trucks, waiting for them to run some trucks through. All right, wish us luck on the next one. Hopefully we get like a foot further. All right, enjoy. The B class. this thing off a little bit and uh, clean it up but look at how sticky this mud is still all inside the lugs
he must, he must think he's going to make it. All right? Is he going to make it, guys? Come on, he decided no cable. Come on, Nick. He's got the back from the show a lot of trucks got stuck all of them including us it wasn't the results we were expecting we went out there we did our best we kind of knew the mud hole was going to be very challenging when we first saw it but i hope you enjoyed the highlights i don't know how many future mud bogs we'll have with this project here or we do have a mud race truck so maybe someday we will pull that out of the garage and hit up a local mud race or mud bog whatever you want to call them all right guys thanks for watching and until next time oh, you hit that water so fast it just hey before i leave i gotta show you guys something that i uh, noticed here look how sticky this mud was you know, we cleared all those lugs, cut all these lugs inside here, but it didn't matter. The mud was so sticky, just stuck right inside the tread, except for one. It's funny because I was telling the kids a couple of those mud trucks have the big lugs cut out. I'm like, man, if only if we would have spent a few more hours, we could have really cut those lugs. But ideally, it wouldn't have mattered on that mud hole. All right, take care, guys.